You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Beers on YouTube? This is OBB here, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with a NASCAR Authentics Diecast review, and it's actually going to be the first ever 2019 Diecast I will be reviewing. Now, I know Wave 1, so no, this is not a Wave 1 review because none of the cars from that wave r2019 but i did found something special if you guys recently just saw my uh, part two video of what's in stores uh what's in store seven then you probably know what it is and i did kind of spoil what car i'm gonna review first but uh since the daytona 500 uh just happened this is a perfect time to review this car and it's on your two-time daytona 500 champion danny hamlin's fedex express toyota camry from 2019 for joe gibbs racing Beautiful looking car. We got a nice little different change that we got for um, 2019. And this is the uh, special Daytona 500 wave. As you see right there, it shows on the box. So this is the second year in a row that Lionel Racing has done this. And it uh, looks like we don't get any variation. Uh, we actually get a generic uh, NASCAR Cup Series schedule compared to the Daytona, to, compared to the, uh, uh, Daytona 500 uh, Magnet that we got last year in the uh, trading card. So a little more on the generic side, but uh, you can definitely see right there... Uh, Probably if you look closely at the copyright and all the licensing, maybe you can guess what cars are in this wave. But they're pretty random, so we'll see how this goes. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take this car out of the box and begin the diecast review of the Danny Hamlin 2019 car. Alrighty, guys, we got the diecast out of this box. And before we get things started on this diecast review, let's take a look at the little trading car that comes with this. So you see right there, we got the uh, current updated uh, schedule for this year. So some slight changes to it. Notice where the green is highlighted. That's where the playoff race is. And on the back, uh, oh, it's the Xfinity Series schedule. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. That's kind of cool they did that. I thought it was going to be something, you know, um, I thought it was going to be blank or something about the Cup Series. But no, that is uh, pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's a nice little training card, but probably the only time I'm going to show it because these next reviews I'm going to show you that after this one is going to be have the same accessories, so don't get uh, too comfortable <laughs> with that. But, yeah, guys, what a, uh, man, talk about good timing for this car to come out. I mean, even though the Daytona 500 is now kind of a thing of the past, <laughs> I, I won't say, man, this, that was, um, I mean, uh, up to, like, the last, uh, like, what, like, few laps, um, this year's Daytona 500, way better than um, last year's for sure. Um, it's here, whoa, is that, am I on drugs or is the FedEx logo a little crooked? It's it's a little bit to the right. Ooh. Well, you know, I'm going to try to think positive about this car because this car does look really nice. I really like uh, that they definitely toned down on the purple this year and they decided to go with a mostly all-white car. Really gives me, you know, vibes uh, to uh, Jason Leffler's uh, car from when they first drove the 11 car, what, like 2005 or so. Really nice little car. I mean, especially in the back. When Once I see that, uh, that, that right there definitely reminds me of Jason Leffler's car. Just the white number and the purple background. Just, man. Um... Paint scheme might look a little bit everywhere, as you can see right there. I mean, we got purple going all around the car. Then it only hugs, like, the outside of the A-pillar to uh, usually where the Monster Energy banners are. Like, that goes right above it, of that purple. And then it just swoops down, and it goes, does a little 360, and then kind of curves off and does, like, a slight 90-degree angle or whatever. Or um, actually more than 90 degrees, Brian. That's, like, whew, almost... Way more than 90 degrees. Hell, I gotta go back to, uh, <laughs> I gotta relearn my angles right now. <laughs> but, um, I really do like that. Okay, now I'm not on drugs. The FedEx logo is crooked on the decklet. And part of the, uh, spoiler, I think, uh, chipped off. Quality control is finest, man. I mean, no, guys, you are not drunk and I am not drunk. That FedEx logo is severely, severely crooked. Yikes. Too bad, uh, we're gonna have, it looks like this could be another year of crappy quality control. What the hell's on the A-pillar? I mean, well, what the hell's on those contingencies? Anyways, I mean, quality-wise, this car, uh, you know, Lionel quality has fine. It's gotta love it, but, you know, still a pretty nice-looking car, though. I do like, um, like I just mentioned, uh, the additional white on this car. Some people probably prefer the purple car that, um, he had last year, which, speak of which... Might as well go ahead and do the diecast comparison of that car, which is, uh, which ironically, uh, uh, that this car was also released in the Daytona, Daytona 500 wave last year as well. So big difference in the colors. They basically just inverted where, um, inverted the colors. Wherever you see purple, it's white now. And it's just me, or the purple is a lot more brighter and uh, just better looking on last year's car compared to this year's. I mean, the purple is not as bright and vivid. Uh, like, I don't know, they decided to go with a different shade of purple. 
that or it's just my lighting, but it, I don't know. The purple definitely looks a lot more different this year. It's a lot more darker, which is a little disappointing because I do like that vibrant purple that we got last year. But I can see why they changed it. Because, you know, people complain, oh, they got to change the paint scheme up every year. I mean, I don't know. I mean, feel free to comment below which one. Oh, we can't forget that little screw up. <laughs> oh, man. Talk about blast of the past. Remember that little screw up I had when I did this review? Man. Even one year later, Lionel's quality still hasn't changed. Well, no, I mean, I think that little uh, logo screw up, uh, I, I'd rather take a screwed up logo than that. I mean, that right there, shh, easily mistake that for a race win or something. I mean, that's just yowza. Whew. <laughs> but, you know, you pay five bucks for these cars. What more can you expect? But, paint scheme wise, I do like this car. I, I think it looks a lot more better than last year's. It really does. And um, to talk about the Daytona Life Hunter race, to continue on with that, um, you know, what a wreck fest. And Danny Hamlin was one of the, uh, actually three, uh, I mean, how about Joe Gibbs Racing finishing one, two, three, guys? I mean, that hasn't been performed since, uh, what, like uh, the Hendrick cars did it back in the 90s, I believe. Uh, they did it at, uh, at one of the 90s Daytona 500 races. Um, so it's been a while since we've had, you know, uh, all uh, uh, since we've had uh, one single team do the one, two, three. Poor Truex, man. Truex had a wreck <laughs> and DeBenedetto. But, um, you know. Still pretty cool regardless, though, and plus, what a great way for, um, I know there's still a lot of Denny Hamlin haters out there, but, you know, you can't go wrong with uh, with him winning this, uh, winning in this car. I mean, I, 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 I know I was salty with him winning in 2016, because I, 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 I'm a Truex fan, so you guys know why, but, um, well, I'm going to show you guys the, the uh, comparison on another comparison. It's his Daytona 500 win for 2016. I'm um, just going to tell you guys that um yeah i i probably prefer uh this year's uh daytona 500 win over uh well i mean finish wise i definitely 2016 is the best but to see that he honored this um he, they decided to get this win for jd gibbs uh really just made this win very special and i i think a lot of people are probably gonna get this car because of that i mean even kyle bush won the daytona 500 this year guys i mean uh, just seeing a joe gibbs racing car overall win this big race um great for jd gibbs because you know he was the uh co-owner of this uh team so he helped put this team together so it's a shame that you know he couldn't see danny hamlin win his second day total 500 but um still cool that we were able to see um that happens so yeah you, you can't go wrong with that guys and i know kyle bush is gonna win day 500 one of these years this year was very close i mean he avoided the big one but overall guys feel free to uh, comment your thoughts and opinions about this car and also what you guys thought about the day 500 race i say it was a pretty good race until the last few laps and it turned into a freaking wreck fest but it's probably next to the truck race the most entertaining race that we got in speed weeks i mean it's right up there with the truck race but they both turn to shit shows <laughs> with the wrecks. But, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about this Danny Hamlin 2019 FedEx Express to Ada Camry uh, for Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, if you guys haven't already, subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel. And uh, make sure to like as well because that will be greatly appreciated. And uh, I will continue making more of these. So this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. And I will catch you guys on another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Review.